Hello, this is a quick tutorial for Exofin tissue adhesive and how to use the various tips in the emergency department setting. I'm going to start off by showing you this is the Exofin tissue adhesive. The most common used tip is the brush tip. We have an accelerant cap inside of it. To activate the product, you're going to hold the white part, screw it all the way down till it's nice and tight. You're going to prime it sideways at the X and Gently squeeze it like your toothpaste at home until you see the purple adhesive. As soon as you see the purple adhesive, stop squeezing. I'm going over to my wound. All I'm going to do is squeeze and I can see the glue filling up the brush tip. I'm not even squeezing right now. I'm just applying what glue is inside the brush tip. Just like so. It's a nice even coat. I'm going to give it about maybe 10 seconds for that to dry. That's completely dry. Then I will go over, fill up my brush tip again, and apply another light, even coat on top of that. As you can see, it's that's a nice thick coat. That'll stay flexible. And give it about another 10 or 15 seconds, and that one is dry. So that is how we use the most common brush tip. The next tip we're going to look at is our fine point tip. Just hold the white part. And the flexible brush tip, I want you to flex it down to where it breaks loose right here. Jiggle it back and forth, and you have the fine point tip. Now, if you're using something, say if you're wanting to use this over an eye laceration, and you want a little bit more control over it, hold the white part. Again, screw it all the way down. Except this time, we're going to prime it up. So we'll start at the bottom and just pretty much squeeze the X, collapse it. And then we're going to squeeze and roll our thumbs up until you see the purple glue. You know, see, so you see when I released it, it pulled the glue back down. Now we're going to just gently squeeze it and apply it right over the eye, just like that. Apply a nice even amount and it'll stay right where you put it. Give that a good 10 or 15 seconds to dry. That one's already dry. Then you can go back and gently squeeze and apply you another coat right over the top, just like so. Now I'm not squeezing very hard, I'm just giving it a light squeeze just to add the glue to the top. And there again, I'm holding my hand sideways the whole, the whole time. You can see if you apply it correctly, it won't run with you. And that one's dry, and that one's dry. The next application somebody uh, had asked me to show you is we can actually use the angle of the brush tip and apply it. This works only if uh, the wound is pretty much you're going to apply it down. This really doesn't work sideways. Uh, same thing, you're going to take it, hold it, screw it all the way down. You can see the angle of the brush tip. We're going to gently squeeze from the back until we get to the purple glue. Now what we're going to do is gently squeeze it, fill up the brush. The glue is going to run down through the brush tip and we can apply a nice even layer just like that over the top without actually using the fine point tip. This takes a little finesse because you're just gently squeezing, filling up the brush tip and allowing it to run down through the brushes. There again, give that a little second to dry. That one's already dry. Squeezing up again. And I just squeeze once to get my glue flowing. And then I can go down and apply it right over the top. Now this works pretty well. You kind of take get some used to using it, but it is a little bit smaller than using the brush tip without having to take that off and using the fine point tip. So if you've got a bleeder, that works really well because nothing can actually get clogged up. But in using the brush tip, that's kind of a clog free tip too, in case you do have a bleeder. So you can kind of see how this stuff, it stretches, it flexes, it does really well. So that's the tutorial on how to use the XFN tissue adhesive and the emergency department setting. Thank you.